Uh, thank you, Chairman. Um, I want to thank both of you for your distinguished service to the country. Uh, and I have to say, General Robinson, uh, I echo Senator Shaheen's comments. We are so very proud of you in New Hampshire as a UNH grad and obviously as your stated residency of New Hampshire. Uh, I want to thank your family as well. And I, I want to thank, uh, certainly uh, thank, uh, thank the Colonel, uh, Colonel Howard, for, uh, for his service as well uh, as a great resident of the state of New Hampshire. I uh, wanted to ask you, in the meeting that we had in my office, uh, one of the issues we talked about with your responsibility uh, for the southern border as, as a commander of NORTHCOM is this idea of the tunnels. Um, in fact, this morning, as I'm looking at the news, uh, we, we discovered that there are reports that U.S. authorities discovered a half-mile tunnel under the border with Mexico uh, into San Diego used to smuggle drugs. And as we think about this um, heroin and also fentanyl issue, uh, which is a very de deadly syn syn uh, synthetic drug that is really killing people in New Hampshire, uh, I got an amendment in that focuses on cooperation with the Israelis because they have the tunnel issue with Hamas and Hezbollah. And Admiral Gortney had said that was a very helpful cooperative effort. So I would like to ask you, as you go to the southern border, will you look at this tunnel issue, too, and how we can develop better technologies to ensure uh, that we are looking at not only how they're transporting the heroin and fentanyl over in traditional ways, but also building these tunnels? Yes, Senator, uh, I will do that. I, I saw the article this morning, and it did remind me of our conversation and, and the conversation that we had about Israel and the technologies and, that they had. And as we discussed yesterday, uh, when uh, I understood that, it piqued my interest. So uh, two things I, I will go down and look, understand the tunnels, see what they look like, understand the technologies that we have, and then understand the things that Israel is also help teaching us what they've learned. Terrific. And in terms of this fentanyl issue, this is uh, the synthetic... Uh, basically analgesic that is almost 50 times more powerful than heroin and it's also being manufactured in Mexico and if you look at New Hampshire had last year 430 drug deaths actually 160 of them are attributed to fentanyl so in your role in addressing not only the border but in dealing with Mexico um, what I'd like to also have you focus on is talking to the Mexican government um, and obviously in these military to mil military relationships of how we can have them step up more on this interdiction issue. Yes, ma'am. Uh, early on, I, I do want to meet with my uh, military counterparts, Sedena and Samar, uh, understand what they are, and also provide an assessment, as I mentioned to the chairman, back to the committee of where I, I understand they are and what we need to do together more uh, to support them. Terrific. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Uh, General Scaparati, I want to thank you for your distinguished service in Afghanistan. And I would like to ask you, um, if confirmed for this important position, uh, one of your roles, not only serving as European commander, will, you will also serve as the Supreme Allied Commander of Europe. And recently we met with the NATO Secretary General. Uh, the committee did. And one of the issues he raised is that he believed that NATO countries and NATO as a whole should be more involved in the train, advise, and assist mission in Iraq to defeat ISIS. And so do you agree with the Secretary General that we should seek to get NATO more involved in the train, advise, and assist mission? Um, obviously, we all have a part uh, in defeating ISIS, given the threats that this group presents uh, to not only the United States of America, but also Europe with the recent attacks there. Senator, um, if confirmed, uh, I'll obviously discuss that with the Secretary General. It's a matter of, of policy within NATO. But I, to give my personal opinion, I think that we have very strong and capable allies. And the more allies that we have assisting us uh, in Iraq and other places around the globe where we have the same challenges is, is important, and, and we should pursue that. Terrific. Thank you. Um, and in terms of the Russian threat, uh, one of the issues, there was a recent article, um, I think yesterday, that talked about Russian attack submarines uh, that I believe the chairman briefly touched on that are prowling the coastline of Scandinavia, Scotland, and the Mediterranean Sea and the North Atlantic. Uh, I wanted to ask you about the importance of our attack submarine fleet uh, in terms of having the capacity with this Russian threat, but also obviously we know that the Chinese are another issue uh, in the South Pacific. Uh, but yet our requirements for attack submarines, we're not keeping up with pace of 
what we see the Russians doing. How important of an asset is this in terms of combating the Russians and what they're doing right now? Uh, Senator, I believe that, uh, that it's critical. Uh, we, we presently have dominance under sea, and, and I don't believe we should pace it. We should maintain that dominance, and it's, it's critical to our security. Great. I want to thank you uh, both uh, for your leadership and distinguished service, and especially your families as well. We appreciate it.